I believe you saw lots of videos on YouTube or any other social media like this. Or this. Well, the voice are actually done by AI. And even some of my videos here, haha. <laughs> So let me show you how this works. You can use this software called TTS Web UI to generate voiceover for your next social media post. All right, guys, why don't you listen to this audio before we start? Yourself, hey guys, good morning. If you enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use TTS Generation Web UI, particularly Bark AI. So Bark AI is a voice cloning technology and it's a technology where we can use to generate audio and basically input it into our video. So it's basically for free, you don't need to pay anything and I'll show you how to do it. So here we have the GitHub page for TTS Generation Web UI. You can definitely install this locally in your computer. In my case, I don't have that very strong, powerful computer. So basically what I'm going to do is just click this one. I'm going to use a Google Colab in order for this to run. So just going to run this one. So there are four things that we're going to run this 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 and the last one All right so that's what we're going to do so we're going to run this first okay it's done so we're going to do the second one done as well the last one so we're going to open our youtube and then from here we're going to search for a particular video so from here i want to clone joe rogan's voice so i'm just basically going to copy the link here and then i'm going to go here in cap wing i'm going to click create new project and then basically just paste the link here and then from here we're going to search where the video is or where the audio is so you definitely want to search for an audio that is between 10 to 15 seconds so you want to have an audio of that particular person who is continuously speaking at that particular time so this is what i'll do and i'm just gonna fast forward this one in order for you guys not to be bored so I already have the video and the audio here. So this is the part where I want to cut. So let's take a look. Yeah, and and coming back from defeats too. I mean, he's a guy that's had his downs. Yeah. He's had his ups and his downs. And, you know, he always, I mean, he's always smiling and always friendly to people. It's like, he's so admirable just as a human being. Okay, there you go. So again, what we want is the audio only. So we're going to delete the video. We don't need that one we just want the audio so we're going to export the project we're going to choose mp3 and then we're going to export as mp3 so i'm going to rename this project into joe rogan voice okay there you go and then we're going to wait for now okay seems like it's done we're going to click download all right so it's already there so we're going to go now to adobe podcast now, the reason why we go to Adobe Podcast is because we want to remove the noise and the echo coming from the voice recordings. So we are going to click go to enhance. We're going to upload or we're just going to basically just drag this one. OK, so while we're waiting for that, we're going to go here first and then we're going to run the last one. So we forgot about this already. <laughs> OK, and then we're going to download this one. All right, so it's downloading. So we're just going to wait for the Gradio link to show up here. Okay, let's scroll down. All right, there you go. Just in time for the Gradio link. Let's open this one. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to just make these a little bit bigger. All right, there you go. So we're going to go here to Bark Voice Clone. And then we're going to just basically drop the voice that we had earlier so there we go and then i'm just going to basically generate a voice okay there you go so we have now a new one so we're just going to remember this one so just 29b.npz uh, so we're going to click use as history and then we're going to go here generation bark so, all right, there, use all generation as history and then 29b.npc. That's what we want. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at here. We have short prompt or split prompt. So, basically, for split prompt, you're just going to uh, split the texts here. So, from an entire paragraph, say, for example, there are five sentences in there, you're going to do it one by one. So in our case, this time we're just going to use short prompt. And then the next thing that we're going to do is for each subsequent generation, we're going to use history prompt setting. So this is the one that we have. And then we're going to basically just type here something. 
Okay, so that's just what we want to do for now. And then here we have text temperature and waveform temperature. Basically, this is the settings that you were going to just play on because you won't be able to get everything in just one go. So basically, it is a trial and error process in order to get that specific sound or that specific voice that you want. Although you already have the voice model of that particular person, you have already cloned it, you still have to go and experiment on the text temperature and waveform temperature in order for you to get the right or the desired result that you want and that is what we're going to do so we're going to start by basically increasing this one to say for example 8 so I've increased the text temperature to 8 and then the waveform temperature is 7 and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically just generate so we're going to click here and then we're going to wait so as you can see there's an orange outline here it means it is working and if we're going to go here in our Gradio link, so you will see that it is processing. So that's what we want. We're just going to wait down here. Okay, there we go. So we're going to try to listen to this one. Hey guys, good morning. If you enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that one is good. Now still the same thing, all we have to do is we're going to continue and experimenting and then let's bump it up to around 9 and let's increase this to 8 and then let's try generating for more. And here's how it sounds. Yourself, hey guys, good morning. If you enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like. Hmm, okay, this one is a little bit better yourself but hey guys good morning if you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like okay so yes that is how you're going to basically use bark ai or tts generation web ui in order to generate and clone a voice from someone congratulations i hope you learned something for today's tutorial and again keep on experimenting because this is a trial and error and if you found a voice that you're looking for all you have to do is basically just use this button in order for the seed to be used and used again so congratulations i hope you learned something have a good day everyone i have something for you i did a rap about ai for you here enjoy Yeah, we're diving into the future Let's go, is the game changer Here's what you ought to know From bits and bytes to algorithms So advanced machines that think and learn It's a whole new dense data Flowing through the wires Neural networks fire Code evolving on its own Taking us higher It's a digital evolution Minds in collaboration is the innovation changing the narration. I, I, the futures on display, merging tech and mind in a whole new way. From virtual realms to the real world stage is the buzzword turning pages of a new age. So embrace the code and let the circuits play Is our partner leading us into the day From pixels to innovation we round the track Is the rhythm let's dance No looking back 